Planting grass in the sea may sound like an absurd idea at first, but sea grasses are vital to our environment. Atish Kanhai, a research officer at the Institute of Marine Affairs, the IMA, says these marine plants are quite versatile. Sea grasses serve many different purposes for the ecosystem. For one, they help stabilize the shoreline in terms of the sediment. They also provide habitats, nurseries for, and nurseries for things like shellfish and different fish species. And they also help purify the water. And they help promote biodiversity in general as a productive ecosystem. This seagrass replanting activity is just one of the IMA and BPTT's recently launched pilot project titled Marine Resilience Initiative Marin Tobago. It started in April and will last for 18 months. The project involves finding ways to restore and improve the health of Tobago's seagrasses and corals, especially in the event of environmental disasters. One way of doing so is replanting seagrasses in areas where they were once prolific, like Kilgwin Bay. It also involves facilitating educational seminars with local stakeholders like the Speyside Eco Marine Park Rangers, SEMPA, and the Tobago Tourism Agency Limited, TTAL. Director of Tourism Product Development and Destination Management, Narendra Ramgulam, explains why the agency is a part of this environmental initiative. What we're doing today is a, a bit in line with ethical tourism as well because what we are doing is actually leaving something for the environment to grow, to develop, to sustain itself, to preserve itself, to maintain itself and to ensure that there is sustainability for future generations and for our source markets as well because now there's a trend where um, travelers who are coming now they're looking for high value type products and doing something as simple as this will ensure that there is um, a quality product at the end of the day that is of high value. This was the first seagrass replanting trial under the Marin project. Hundreds of seagrass shoots were planted on this particular day at two sites along Kilgwin Bay. But the project is not just for environmental stakeholders. Everyone is being encouraged to get involved. We came, me and three other members of Sampa came because we are aware of how important seagrass is to turtles especially the critical endangered ones we want them to come back to this nesting site especially this one because it's not as populated as the rest it is our hope that through education and sensitization that they will understand how this benefits the average tobagonian and trinidadian why it, it makes sense to maintain biodiversity maintain seagrass beds in terms of fisheries population in terms of the environment so once we get people on the ground to take ownership of it, I think the project stands a better chance of success. The planting sites at Kilgwin Bay will now be incorporated into the IMA's current seagrass monitoring schedule. The monitoring takes place several times per year to check on the state of seagrasses around the island. This checking component will add to the data collection about the condition of the island's coastal and marine areas. I'm Amadara Mills for Let's Talk Tobago.